match review. If you guys don't know what match review is, basically it's where you guys post your wrestling matches, jujitsu matches, or MMA matches to my subreddit, reddit.com slash r slash wrestle, and I review them, okay? I will critique you on your effort, on your technique, on at least as far as wrestling, on like your tenacity, if you're a pussy or not, you know what I mean? So you're really putting yourself out there, but you're giving yourself and everybody else a chance to learn. All right, so I haven't posted in like a couple weeks. Uh, I made a video and it was not well received, so I just decided to take it off. I don't know if that's like frowned upon, but I don't really give a fuck. But if you guys wanna support me, then hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, show me some love, drop a comment, share my video with your friends, try and get me out there. Today we're looking at my subreddit to see which match I'm reviewing, and it's from you slash Gavin, okay? 145, New Jersey High School, okay? In this video, Gavin is the big strong kid in like the gray. Okay, he's posted a couple videos on my subreddit, but this was like the most uploaded one. Okay, so right here. The first thing you do is like you're an athlete and it's clear you're an athlete, it's clear you're big and strong and you're stronger than this kid and you were stronger than the kid you posted in your other video, which is good. Like being strong is definitely an attribute that everyone wants to have. But like you're not you're not seeing like the windows that you're creating. Like you're opening your you're getting like two thirds of the way there and you're not finishing it, right? What you did, usually you have to start from a Russian, okay? Usually you have to get someone, someone has to post on you, you have to get them into a Russian, they have to post on your head and you have to collect that arm and put it on the other side, okay? This kid was posting with both arms and you literally collected his arms and you had them mm -hmm. to his side. Like his arms were right here and he was trapped. So this kid was like this, right? Standing in front of you. And you had his arms trapped with both your arms and you went for like a trip, which is not what you do, okay? That is not like, I, I don't know who taught you that or who showed you that, but what I've always learned from this position, like when you got someone like, I don't know, it's like a bow tie in Jiu Jitsu. Um, when you got someone in like this bow tie, what I like to do is I like to tie it off, right? If their arms are right here, I like to tie it off with this arm Keep this tight, really tight, and then you wrap around their head. You almost grab their headgear, but you try to grab their chin, and you spin, and they fall flat on their back. Like, I'm telling you, they fall, like, they go from standing to falling flat on their back. It's almost like a head throw motion, but you have both their arms. You know what I mean? So they can't defend it. They can't lock around your waist. You're tight right here. You spin, and they fall flat on their back, and it, like, knocks the wind out of them. Let me tell you guys, this sucks so much. I have hit this in matches. It is a very good move. I think I've shown it in like other videos. So check that out. For that inside trip to work, you would have had to go knee to knee and like lean more to that side. You know what I mean? You'd have to make him put all of his weight over the leg that you're trying to trip, but you were like letting his weight be supported by his other leg. So that's where you went wrong. You could have had that, but I don't know. That seems like a really low percentage move because you're like, you have two posts, right? And you're trying to take him out with like one of the posts he's using. You know what I mean? You're not trying to take him to one of the posts that he can't use that you already have trapped. You're like, you have two trapped and you're trying to take out another post to take him down. I think you should just, and when I say post, I mean things that he can post out on and like stop his face from hitting the mat, you know, stop his dick from hitting the mat. Your arms and legs are a post. Okay, so when you have two posts trapped, then you should take the person to those posts, to the mat, you know what I mean? So like, take them to the arm, not try to take them to a leg, not try to make them fall to their hip. Does that make sense? Like, I, I'm not sure if that was clear. If it wasn't, I might make another video on it. Comment down below, but continuing. Go for the trip, you push that out of bounds. All right, your stance, I wanna note something, your stance is not good. You're st like, you're an athlete so you can get away with it, but when you go against another athlete that is disciplined, when you go to states and you go against someone who is actually good, who actually practices in their stance, who actually wrestles in a good stance, who has a quick level change, who has seen this shit before, who has seen you trying to grab them and hold them and muscle them, you will get taken down and you will get worked. It is going to be sad. Okay, you need to have a good stance, you need to be disciplined. Just because you're strong does not mean that you are exempt from the rules of technique. You know what I mean? Okay. 
you're in this tie up, you're pushing off of him, you don't really, it looks like you don't know what to do. You like all of your pushes are very like extreme and big movements. See like look. Okay, so right there. Right here. This is tragic. This is a tragic, tragic moment. Alright. This, like this is why you need to focus on your technique okay you snapped him down that was a beautiful snap down right you brought him straight to his knees you had him on his knees and then you didn't do shit with it okay you had you like took him down you put him in a like position of like you took him out of position you did the snap which is hard right jumping back falling on your knees that takes kids a long time to learn like you have to be athletic to do that all right, you waste all this energy. You do it, you get him to his knees, and then you don't do anything. You let him stand back up. You don't pressure him. You don't try to spin around. You don't try to get a head and arm. You don't try to get an uh, a bulldog or, you know what I mean? You don't try anything. You just like let him stand back up. Personally, if I'm going for that snap, I know what I'm gonna go for after he gets to his knees. I know how I'm gonna bring him to his back from the snap, you know what I mean? But instead, you let him get back up, okay? You let him work, you let him think, you let him have that time to think to get back up and start pressuring into you. And then with that pressure, you could have done so many things, right? You could have done like a million flashy moves, you could have done a souffle, a lateral, uh, like whatever you wanted with that pressure coming into you. But you decide to do a head throw, okay? The shitty thing about a head throw is if it's like even a little bit telegraphed, right? If it doesn't happen perfectly, then you will get put, like a good wrestler will get behind you. You know what I mean? If it doesn't happen like in the midst of a scramble, then you are gonna have, you are gonna get scored on. Like how you were trying, how you were twisting and you were holding on to his head. If for a set, if you twist and you feel his head right here and you feel yourself pulling a little bit, let that go. Just focus on staying on your feet, okay? Because if your hands touch the mat, then he scored his two. You have to understand that when, like, when you're going for a head throw, if their if their feet stay under them and they keep a good base, then they're gonna get behind you. And this is exactly what happened. This was tragic. This should not have happened. You could have gone for an over and under and hit a lateral. You could have, uh, you could have reshot. You could. There's a million things you could have done, but you went for the lazy thing, okay? I don't know what you're trying to do. It looks like maybe you're trying to fat man roll where you like pinch his elbow and you put his shoulder to the mat and then you like put your hips over. I don't know if you've ever done that. I used to do that a lot when I was younger. Okay, so you hit the switch. All right, you stand back up. And then look, dude, you stand right back up. You go from a switch to standing straight up. I'm telling you, some savage. Uh, you're in the 145 pound weight class in New Jersey, there are some fucking savages in there. Before you get to state, like I can promise you at Regents, there's gonna be some kid that is going to give you problems because of your stance, okay? You look like a good wrestler, you look like an athlete, you look like you have potential, but like these minor details are going to screw you over and it's going to suck. It's gonna make you miss out on the things you want to accomplish, you know what I mean? See, look, you're standing straight up. In 145, you should not be standing up like this. You're getting away with it because you're bullying this kid around, right? You don't really have good head position. His head's in your ear, right? You should be trying to put, like, his head should never be in your ear. You should be trying to put your head in his ear, okay? And then that, I don't even know how you did that, right? So you went from an underhook and you basically just jacked it up you like try to step out and you just like muscled him over. That was just bad wrestling on that kid's part, okay? That was like, I mean, I don't know if you learned that. I don't know if you've ever done that. Cause like you don't have his arm trapped. That's just bad wrestling on his part. Like he should have been circling with his feet and like trying to get parallel with you, not just letting himself get bullied over. This wouldn't work on a high quality wrestler. You know what I mean? If you focus on your technique, you will be deadly you will be deadly. If you focus on learning something and getting it down and practicing it, like in the, you could have ended the match in the first five seconds, okay, dude? You could have ended the match right away. Like with those two arms, like, like this, this is literally a money position. Having his arms in that bow tie is literally a fucking money position. You wanna be there. That is, 
like how you end matches, you know what I mean? And you got there in the first five seconds. You just need to know what you're gonna do with the position before you get it, all right? So you can be quick about it. You gotta like make shit happen. You can't just like sit there and think after you get the position. Same thing with the snap, dude. You could have put him to his back from that snap, but you didn't know what you were gonna do. You weren't like being cerebral, you weren't thinking. It's good that you're a, it's good that you're an athlete, but don't let it be your only trait that makes you a good wrestler, okay? All right, be like well-rounded, you know what I mean? That was a quick match review. If you guys liked that video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'm sorry I didn't get to post in a while, but I work a lot, I have school, I have a girlfriend, I have a lot of things. If you guys want me to post more frequently, if you guys want me to post more videos, then hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share my videos, hit me up on Patreon, hit me up on Reddit. But until next time, I'll see you guys, peace.